Well, that was an interesting day, wasn't it? Yeah, we seem to have a habit the last two games of making day one pretty interesting. Um, yeah, uh, tough conditions this morning, interesting wicket. Um, but yeah, we're a little bit behind the game here. I think we probably could have bowled a, a bit better there um, in, in, the, in the evening in particular. But um, yeah, we've got a lot of hard work to do to get this game back to where we want it to be. Let's talk a little bit about the pitch because last uh, last game here against Gloucestershire it looked like flat and slow. Middlesex it was doing a little bit more. W what's this doing? It seemed to do all sorts. Yeah, it did. Um, it was qu quite a lot of moisture in it, a lot more than um, the, the pitch against Gloucester had and probably a bit so softer than that Middlesex wicket. So I think we're trying to find something in between. Um, I know Simon uh, is trying his best here to, to get used to conditions as quickly as possible, being his first full season and first time preparing pitches at this time of the year. So um, we've got to give him a, a little bit of credit and a little bit of um, leeway there uh, with regards to finding the right balance. But um, I think we're going to get there. Uh, it's just a bit unfortunate that we that we sort of batted that way this morning, that it, it wasn't maybe totally impossible to bat. Um, it would be nice to just have, have ground out a little bit longer then and, and maybe got 100, 120 or so. Is that a little bit of a hangover from the Oval as well because that's two fruity pitches that you've batted on in the first inning? Yeah, um, <laughs> last two day one sessions really haven't gone our way, um, which is yeah, which is unfortunate. Uh, we've played such good cricket uh, for three weeks up until that and then one bad session at the Oval and one bad session this morning and you start to kind of think, well, what's going on? But um, we're still a good team. Um, we, we've still got all our bases covered. Probably just need a little bit more luck going our way. Um, but these things happen and county cricket's tough. Um, championship cricket's hard and we've got to find a way. We've got to find a way to dig in and, and yeah, bounce back as quickly as possible and tomorrow could be the day. Um, so, yeah. Tom Abel batted well there, didn't he? Showed a lot of patience, 52 not out. Wickets seem to be slightly harder to come by. You've alluded it to it there earlier, but you put it down to maybe indifferent bowling. But was the pitch getting a bit easier? Um, yeah, like I said, um, I think Tom just showed a bit of grit and a, a bit of de determination there, um, which was which was a good a good point to prove that it wasn't impossible to bat there today. Um, yeah, I didn't think we grouped, um, grouped enough together. Uh, if I think of what, what's happening upstairs there, we're probably about 15% or so lower than they were in, in good areas, um, which is a shame because we've got the attack that should be 15, 20% ahead of them. Um, also saying that after the tea break, the, the ball got incredibly wet and the seam did go a little bit softer, but again, no excuses. Um, never going to use that as an excuse. Uh, a purely a, a grouping and, and I found in particular once I got into a bit of a rhythm from this side and grouped a few that you're starting to hit pads and that and I think that was just the bottom line just some ill discipline from the bowlers to be quite honest. They seem to be batting especially George Bartley way outside off stump by the time the ball was arriving a lot of them taking off stump guards does that sort of upset things a little bit? Uh, no not really um, the fact that they got to play a little bit out of um, a natural game plan against us um, obviously gives us uh, they worried about what we what we can do with it um, but no it, uh, Maybe one or two of those LBs did it did help them getting outside the line there slightly, um, but yeah, I mean that's a game plan that we could probably have a look at uh, going into the second innings and and negate that that ball that nips back, which Lewis and a couple of the other bowlers got to do. You picked up a couple of wickets so far. Hopefully more for you tomorrow morning. How are you feeling? Because it is a tough start this to the season, isn't it? And we were worried about you and Mohammed last week up at the Oval. Yeah, um, it's been an interesting. What's it? I've lost count now. Five weeks, Jamer. I think um, every every week sort of got uh, merged into itself. Yeah, um, I must admit this this whole year in particular, from when I started to really get back into it in South Africa in January, has been pretty tough. Um, the the year off, uh, well, the forced year off um, last year, I think mentally helped me, but probably from a physical point of view, as a bowler, you just want to keep bowling. Um, I mean, I'm not saying for 12 months, but you you want that regular bowling through the year and I uh, never got that um, I mean again uh, no excuses but it's a it's a first look of maybe if I got injured in the past and then having to come back after a long stint it, it kind of feels like that lucky I've never been in that situation um, so yeah still just trying to find my feet just trying to find a bit of rhythm in that here and there but um, that eight, eight overs this evening was the, probably the closest I got to being back to to where I want to be which is encouraging um, but yeah, still a long season ahead, so <laughs> I need to try to save a little bit for the end. <laughs>